All right, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome back to Pokemon Blaze Black 2. So this is a game that I played a couple of years ago. Wow, it's been a couple of years now. And um, anyway, I'm going to be coming back and doing the after game now, which I was going to do originally, but I was having trouble recording the game because the old computer that I had literally cannot handle a DS emulator. Um, actually, I think the problem was more uh, Audacity, which was what I was using to record the audio for commentary. But I'm not going to get into that because I don't think anybody really wants to hear about my recording troubles. Because uh, I am a Let's Player and I have recording troubles on a... Uh, I have more of them than I know what to do with. Anyway, I'm not going to read all this text because I read a lot of text recently. Stupid's Pokedex was upgraded. I guess I'll read that text. And, um... Alright. So, Pokemon professors and things like that. And I like how there's a Ferris wheel model on the table on the side here. You're going to just give me Max Arrives, and I don't know why, but you have those on hand for some reason. Um, yes, there's, there's a Ferris wheel model on the table here. That's nice. I love the little details. Um, speaking of little details, this uh, floor texture is quite enthralling, and I don't know why. Anyway. Oh god, it's easy to eat again. Alright, my sister has something. You purloin. You got it back. Yeah. Pokemon called Zorark, did you say? It's on Victory Road. Well, that is, uh, after game content. I, um, I recorded this once before, like 10 minutes ago, and I went and did that, the thing on Victory Road, and, uh, to make a very long story short, not really long story, but to make a story short, um, level 100 legendary Pokemon versus my team, and my team came out, uh, on the short end of the stick there. So I'm gonna go instead, and um, that's the Y button, that's the X button. I'm gonna go instead, I'm having trouble with the buttons here, I'm gonna go instead and fly off to, uh, I think, Opelucid City. And in Opelucid City, I'm gonna go out west, I hit Route 9, is it? Route 8, There's more Vicarious and whatever else I need to do. Um, stop hitting the Y button. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and, uh, go out west. And I think in front, I can put Riss out front because Riss needs the experience. It's worth noting that I did not, for some reason, have a backup save after I beat the, um, after I beat the Elite Four, the nearest one, the nearest save file that I had was, um, what was it? It was before the Elite Four, I think. And have I fought you guys yet? It would appear that I have fought you guys already. Yeah, the, the nearest save that I had was um, before the Elite Four. And so uh, I had to replay a short section of the game. And that was quite unfortunate. Let's hit the Y button, go into the bicycle. And um, let's run on down this way. What was I trying to say? Uh, yeah, my, my team may not be... Oh, hey, the uh, Z-clipping distance. Uh, my team might not be exactly the same as the last time that I played this game because of having to replay uh, small sections of the game. And I got into a random encounter on the corner of a... Really? Well, that's my cue to go and go into the free space and put on a uh, fancy... Not a Moomoo Milk, but a Max Appel. Imagine wearing a Moomoo Milk, just dumping it on your head and uh, going off. Are you the one who gives me rocks? I am still having trouble with the buttons. Um, in my fail take of this, I was having trouble with the buttons. The buttons were mapped to the shape of the DS. So, like, on the Xbox controller, A was B and B was A. And, uh, that was throwing me off, so I switched it back to, uh, A is A and B is B. And you gave me something, and I don't know what that was. And I'm just having trouble with that again. Like, right there, I hit the B button trying to talk to this guy instead of the A button. And what exactly... What did he do? What did he say? I wasn't reading what he said. I should probably get in the habit of reading the text. Mm, just maybe. Yes, I would like to surf. That is a big pearl. Very nice. And yeah, the rippling spot went away because I talked to it. And um, I did not get into a battle with this uh, umbrella lady. That's nice. Oh, so now you're going to battle me. Alright. Uh, Parasol Lady is your name. You're a rotation battle. Cast form, cast form, and cast form. 
do I want to, like, try and narrate these battles like a proper Let's Play, or do I want to just, like, cut them out, is the question. Because, um, I have a, a rib out in this battle, don't I? And I don't think that's going to go very well. Cast form. We're going to, we're going to close combat you. Or you can switch into the normal type, who is weak to close combat. Or you're not going to, you're just going to transform as, as soon as, um, you come into battle, because that's how that ability works. All right, perfect. And that's, uh, our defenses are falling, and oh, all right, goodbye, Rib. I mean, what's his face? I mean, uh, Wrist. If I survive this, I'm going to be very impressed. Ooh, I survived that with mine. Okay, so we're going to nope on out of here. And, um, I'm just going to spam Cut, I think, because Cut is a Grass-type move in this hack, and Cut is super effective, and Cut, I don't have to worry about getting hit by uh, super effective thunders. I still have to worry about thunder, but... Not as, uh, not as badly as before. Alright, so your forecast is going to transform you. And we're going to use cut again. And you're going to move because I'm sure you totally don't all have the exact same move set because you're just auto-generated by the game. And that's going to take down the cast form. Alright, perfect. Pancreas gained a level. Pancreas grew to level 73. Rip gained a level. And, uh, Pancreas. Pancreas did a lot of my fighting in the Elite Four, which is why he's, uh, several levels ahead of everybody else. But that's no matter. Cast from is down. Alright. Chris gained some experience. Everybody gained experience. And, uh, somehow nobody died. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and, uh, do a little bit of Curium. Did I actually just say that? My friends and I were making chemistry jokes yesterday, and, um, Curium came up as a, uh, an, an element name. That's that's a pun, because it sounds like cure. Anyway, I'm apparently trying to... I just kicked something. I hope you didn't hear that. I'm apparently going to try and narrate all these fights. So you're, you are going to send out an Excelgor. And Excelgor is very fast. Watch you have a energy ball, because everything in this game, absolutely everything in this game, has competitive movesets. And um, it started to rain, and I'm going to go and use Strength on your face. You're going to use Final Gambit, which is going to take you down and make you do the same amount of damage that you had an HP. Please don't KO me. Have EVs. Ooh, I lived. Excellent. Alright, so you're gonna send in Wormadam. Uh, I am going to, again, nope on out of here. And I think, uh, who do I want to nope into is the question. Because nope is now a verb. We're gonna be sending in Rib. Because Rib, even though it's raining, has a 4 times super effective same type attack bonus a uh, fire type move on the Wormadam. And an Intimidate, but that's really secondary here. You're gonna use Flail, which isn't gonna do anything. Alright, that did a, uh, pennies for damage. And my leftovers have fully recovered that. Flamethrower! Let's see how much this does. And it's going to go and... No, not quite. Alright, so despite being four times super effective, same type attack bonus, it's, uh, it's nerfed in the rain. So it's not going to quite do enough damage to take anything down, that's a shame. Okay. My nose is itchy, and I just scratch my nose and push my glasses at my face and brush them against the uh, headphones, and I hope you didn't hear that either. Which is like my uh, catchphrase for this video, I hope you didn't hear that. Because uh, I say, I've said it like three times so far. Anyway. Gastrodon is up next. I can switch Pokemon into a... Who do I want to switch into? I have Ankle, right? Ankle has a grass type move, right? I think Ankle has a uh, Leaf Blade. Gastrodon, Leaf Blade. Gastrodon, please, Leaf Blade. Trace is gonna trace the sticky hold, alright, and I do indeed have Leaf Blade. And Leaf Blade should go and take care of this Gastrodon. Okay. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of healing after this battle as well. Uh, no great thanks to that final gambit. But um that battle went relatively smoothly. Could have gone worse. Ankle gained experience, grew to level 71, and greeted and defeated last May. Or Mai, or whoever you were. Uh, be right back. Alright, now you are a fisherman, so you are, oops, you are probably going to go and have a, uh, something that's weak to Leaf Blade out front. So I'm going to switch out my Leaf Blade out to front. And you there! Real fishermen are impatient. Said no fisherman ever. Um, oh, I was going to try and narrate this, wasn't I? Ooh, Wish Catch, another four times weak to Leaf Blade uh, Pokemon. Let's see. So, 
Wishcast is going to uh, not summon rain, because Wishcast doesn't summon rain, but it's going to have Oblivious, which means that if I were to boost, I think it wouldn't do any damage. Isn't that what Oblivious does, or is that the, uh... What's the ability that does that? It's not Oblivious. It negates, uh, attack buffs and defense buffs and stuff like that. Uh, Jigglypuff has it, I think, or Wigglytuff, or one of them. I don't remember. Anyway, Gyarados is up next. And Gyarados, she, do I have anything with, um... I don't have anything with electric. How can I make it through the game without having anything with electric? That's, like, impossible. Alright, I guess I'll stay in and I'll try to cut through Gyarados' Intimidate with a, uh... A super effective, uh... Increased critical hit ratio Leaf Blade. See how much damage this does. It's neutral damage. Um, actually, come to think of it, a Psychic would be doing more damage. A Psycho Cut, rather, would be doing more damage. Uh, that is going to lower my defense, so we are going to, uh, change plans. Who Risk can come in, because Risk doesn't take, uh, crunches very, uh, badly at all, being a fighting type and whatnot. Risk, you're gonna use crunch again. And to that, I would like to say strength. I love the animation for strength, and I don't know why. But that is going to go and almost take you down. You're gonna Dragon Dance. Okay, I can live with the Dragon Dance. And what is there that you can do? You can't. You can use Bounce on me. But if you use Bounce, I can. Uh, you you can use Outrage, I guess. If you can use Bounce, you'll be in the air for a turn, and I'll just switch out to somebody who doesn't take very much damage from Bounce. Anyway, no, the strength is going to take you down. Goodbye, Gyarados. I think you have one more Pokemon, do you? Stunfisk. Let's uh, let's stay in here. And Stunfisk is probably... Is the rain still going? I think the rain is still going. Stunfisk is probably not going to enjoy the surf one way or another. I know Stunfisk has decent defenses. Go, go! Damn it, revenge. That's gonna suck. And nice little, uh... DS emulation graphical glitches there. On the side of the Stunfisk. I assume all the Pokémon have some kind of graphical aliasing. Uh, because, again, this is an emulation of a DS and not a, uh... An actual DS. But, never mind. Uh, like, if you look on the ground, you probably see some speckles here and there. No, maybe not. I am going to heal again. 